before I actually get into this and actually organize this, I just wanted to show off this completely off-brand Lapras plush that I bought from a thrift store. She's just a little special, but she has this, so I'm gonna like try to hang her on my wall. <laughs> hey guys, so this is a reminder that for this month's Patreon, the exclusive painting is this ocean-themed painting that was based off of my purple manta ray squishmallow and then some other ocean themes. And sticking with the ocean theme, this month's exclusive sticker oh, over here is this Glitter Hollow Finished Puffer Fish. Now the link to my Patreon is down below to get your hands on these. And on my Etsy, I have a bunch of pins. I also have charms, stickers, buttons, hopefully some new stuff coming out soon. As I mentioned two videos ago, I got accepted into the Scranton Comic Con. And now I'm also doing my town's local festival and it might be doing the winter one too. So yay for more in-person events and the link to my Etsy to shop goodies before they get sold out in person is down below. Now a quick story for this illustration that I'm going to be working on. This drawing came to me in a dream. A dream I will explain in the voiceover, but the dream, long story short, involved heavy body acrylic. And I will be explaining in the voiceover why I will not be using these heavy body acrylics. I'm going to be using marker. I'm feeling cottagecore, I'm feeling fairy vibes, so I'm just gonna jump right in and let voiceover take over the rest. Hey guys, so for the voiceover, I said I'd be talking about this dream, but first I just wanted to talk about the art itself. I kind of mentioned in the beginning that I was feeling more of like a fairy vibe. And I don't know if it's just the summer vibes or whatever. Okay. I'm currently sitting outside because my brother's in the room next door and I feel really awkward doing a voiceover. But yeah, the summer vibes, I just really wanted to draw Thunder. Like I haven't drawn her in two videos. I love her, she's my first OC. And she just means a lot. So drawing her a lot makes me happy. So now onto the dream, it's actually kind of weird. So like I had this idea for art in my head. That part technically didn't come to me for a dream. The rest of it though did. So the original idea for this artwork was to be in heavy body acrylics, as I mentioned at the beginning. So I went to bed thinking, I'm gonna do this in heavy body acrylic. And then there's another video idea I wanna do where I go to the park and paint there. It's just somewhere not in my room or on my front porch. So I had the dream that I took my heavy body acrylics down to the park with a canvas, made the sketch and started painting. And I don't know why I thought, it, I don't know why I was doing this idea or this style for this idea, but the original idea was painting her body in first, like all in the skin tone and then adding the clothes on top later. I don't know why I never paint that way. But so I was at the park painting in the dream and I had my little, this is my camera to record. And there's this woman behind me just staring and I'm like, hi ma'am. And she just gives me this look and walks away. And I'm like, okay, whatever. <laughs> so I'm painting, painting. A couple minutes later, the police show up and I'm like, hi. And they're like, hi, we got a call that there's somebody painting naked women and filming children at the park. So Dream Emily is like, no, I am painting and filming my painting. And at this point in the dream, Thunder has her clothes on, or at least part of the dress. And I had to show these dream officers that I was not painting naked women and filming children. I was filming myself and I just happened to be painting or starting a painting this specific way. So they took me on my word for not filming children, but they arrested the canvas for public nudity. I woke up and I was like, okay, I guess I'm just not going to do that. That has bad vibes on it. So no painting thunder at the park. <laughs> but I did want to do a painting before the summer is over. I definitely will go down to the park. And I had an idea for like a cheaper art supply challenge because where my park is where I did the craft fair last month, there is a Dollar General. So I figured I'd go down there super early one morning, get like a couple, like 10 bucks in supplies or something like that. And then just paint at the park for the day. And I'm like, that's a good idea. When am I gonna do it? I have no idea. <laughs> I need to figure out what I'm gonna paint because I'm like, I'm now scared to paint people at the park. I'll figure it out as it goes. But that was the dream and that was really weird. And I don't know why I was thinking heavy body acrylics. I hate heavy body acrylics. I own them. I still trying to use them because I paid money for them. Not my favorite. I want to get better with them. Like when I'm at acrylic painting, which is like on my tier of mediums that I actively use, it's one of my least favorites. I, s I still like it for like, like when I do my Patreon speed paints, that's perfect. I love 
liquid body and I don't even use like the golden or liquitex liquid body I use apple barrel and folk art the cheap less than a dollar per bottle tube liquid paint it works so nice for me it's so cheap and when I use my nice varnish the painting lasts a while but yeah speaking of paintings this is not a painting this is a marker illustration but if you want to check out the patreon only painting for the month on the secret patreon playlist you need to be a patreon the link to that is down below and there's an exclusive print of that painting and or if you want other prints of stuff I've already done link to my Etsy's down below or you could just sit here and watch me draw this marker illustration that I will be uploading onto my Instagram link to that is also down below but yes for this marker illustration I kind of got sick of seeing the black lines and I was like I want to do some color lines and make it a little softer so I decided to use my Copic multi-liners. I use the one in wine and then I have one in, I believe it's just called green or it's like forest green or something. Either way, very, very pretty. And I like how soft it looks. I was debating on going over this with watercolor for her wings and I was like, no. <laughs> I like the way it looks just as is. This is like one of the few drawings in the past year that Thunder's wings are not sparkly and it's kind of weird. The last time I tried to do Thunder and Marker was the, the second week of Pride. I tried to draw Thunder and Savelle and I got Thunder's skin toned down and it kind of failed and then her hair failed horribly. So I was petrified doing her hair. The it, the blending on this is weird. It's not 100% smooth like that first Pride thing I did with Vincent, but it has its own unique touch that you can still tell that it's shading and I'm like, yes, give me more of that. I don't know. I like it. And it's kind of funny to see Thunder in a dress because she doesn't like wearing dresses. You know, her whole backstory thing, if you've been following me forever, is that she's a, a lost princess. Her father was... Her father was royalty, well her parents were royalty, and they sent her off to be somewhere safe during a massacre. And she was adopted by not royalty and brought to planet Earth. So she knows that she's royalty, she just chooses to not be that way. She was raised quote, quote unquote as common, but the people who adopted her are technically criminals. <laughs> practicing illegal magic. They're plant Fazonians. She's a lightning Fazonian. They use portals, which is illegal to Fazonians. Yeah, she doesn't like wearing dresses, so drawing her in a dress is kind of fun. And I actually have another idea to do for her in a dress, but that will be a sketchbook illustration and that will be up on my Instagram exclusively. Or you can wait until the end of this year, early next year to see my sketchbook tour. I think that's about all I had to ramble about. I'm sitting outside, the sky just turned pink, so I'm gonna go inside and edit this voiceover. Remember, join my Patreon for exclusive stickers, prints, speed paints, and more. The link to my Etsy to shop any goodies you might be interested in. I have a buttload of everything that everybody would like. Or just to follow my Instagram and give me a support. I'm doing a giveaway soon. I wanna say August 1st, probably somewhere in the beginning of August or late July for to celebrate 400 followers on my Instagram account. Yay! Like, comment, subscribe, whatever people like to do on YouTube for the Holy Trinity. I think a mosquito just bit my leg, so thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. See you guys next week. Bye.